So this is a very complex story that's got the nation on edge since it broke sometime last weekend. As investigations continue to unravel the mystery, each passing day serves a different twist. For those of you who have not been exactly following the chronology of events, let's run by you the story so far. So what do we know so far with respect to this matter? So here, 28-year-old Josephine Penny Menson was reported missing in Takwadi. That's how it all began. And then reports emerged that kidnappers demanded some ransom while holding the woman hostage after she was picked up. Now, police declared her missing, and subsequently a team of 40 policemen were deployed to the western region to find her. Days later, Josephine was found at a church premises, and she was reportedly unable to speak and also without her pregnancy. And that was where the controversies began. Now, the victim was admitted at the Exim Hospital uh, to begin a series of examinations and tests. The Western Regional Minister subsequently revealed on radio that the security briefing available to him showed the lady in question was not pregnant. The police subsequently secured medical reports from the Exim Hospital, from the Takrade Hospital, from the Ifian Quanta Hospital, and all of these point to the fact that the lady in question was not pregnant and had not given birth in the time being spoken of. And now we know three persons were arrested, including mother of a uh, victim plus husband of a victim. And then she was also being treated as a suspect in connection with all of this. Now, the aid to the regional minister, as you heard there a short time ago, revealed that a ransom of 3,000 CDs was given to the police to secure her release from captivity. And we also heard there a short time ago the police distancing itself from this particular claim. But the residents and neighbors maintained she was pregnant and are calling for an independent probe into the matter. So that is the story so far as we know it, all of the developments. And as I said, every passing day, we have a, a development to this particular story. And as we have run by you the chronology of the events from when she went missing and when she was found to the story about payments of ransom to how the three people were arrested. We understand the husband of a victim was arrested as well as her mother. And the third person we were unable to tell so far who was part of the three people who were arrested, but she was also being treated as a suspect at the last time we checked. Also, police secured another opinion of the another opinion of the medics on this particular matter. Uh, let's engage a lot more on this. Uh, Justice Aqua A to the Western Regional Minister, thank you for joining us. Say yesterday you told us that um, the regional minister had to part with three thousand CDs given to the police specifically to secure the release of a lady. The police has since denied this claim. So how do you react to this? Hello. Hello, Justice. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me, Justice? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. I'm saying that you told us yesterday that the minister parted with 3,000 cities given to the police to secure the release of a lady in question. The police has since come out to deny these claims. ACP Kwesi Fori says the police distances itself from this particular claim. So how do you react to this? Um, good afternoon and then thank you for the opportunity. Um, I also, I did not listen to the police this morning, but then uh, my attention was drawn that that is the statement coming from the Ghana police. And I don't think I have any reaction towards that. If you say you don't have any reaction, exactly what do you mean? Is do you either pay the money or you did not? Um, um, I've said on a lot of platforms that the money was paid. Okay. Now, now it's your word. This is the word of a police. Let's, it's now your word against the police. Let's move away from that. And let's talk about what the current state of this matter is. The police has also said they have secured a third medical opinion, which has pointed to the same direction that she wasn't pregnant. But the concern remains about the circumstances under which this lady was allegedly kidnapped. What do we know? Um, the volume, your volume is very low and I can hardly hear you. I'm asking Can what do we know about the circumstances surrounding the kidnap of this lady? Yeah. I'm afraid Hello. Justice Akwa is having challenges hearing me on the phone yeah. there. But he yeah. has just um, claimed and standing by the position that the money was paid to the police to enable them to secure the release of the lady in question. The police has since denied this particular claim. In the course of time, we'll be engaging a lot more and all the developing legs and angles of this, we will be bringing them to you if you stay with us here on TV3.